What's up guys, so in this video I'm gonna show you Resurrection Remix custom ROM for Moto X 2014. I'm also gonna show you how to install this custom ROM. So this custom ROM has a lot of mods pre-installed, mods to improve battery, performance and to provide a lot of customizing options. The default launcher provided in this custom ROM is a bit different from Google Now launcher. Holding on the screen for a while, from here, you can have a lot of options to change a lot of things about this launcher. You can change grid size, scrolling effect, icon size, icon labels and a lot more. Inside settings, you'll find three different new menus, resurrection tools, theme chooser and performance. Inside resurrection tools, you'll have a lot of options to customize a lot of things about this device. You can change the interface lock screen, soft buttons and a lot more. From theme chooser uh, you can change theme. And from performance you can choose between three different profiles power saver, balanced and performance. So you can just switch between them as per your need. So now to install this custom ROM your phone needs to have a custom recovery installed. If you don't know how to do it check the link below in the description box. So if you are in Lollipop, uh, before installing this custom ROM, you need to change your partition to ext4 as you'll have encryption error af after you install this custom ROM on your device. So now to install this custom ROM, first you need to download the ROM file and the gapps file. You can download it from the link below in the description box. After you download it, transfer it onto your device. After the transfer is complete, turn off your phone. Now press the volume down button for 2 to 3 seconds and then press the power button and leave it. You will boot into bootloader mode. From there use your volume down button to navigate to recovery mode and use your volume up button to select it. After you have booted into recovery mode, before installing this custom ROM, we need to perform a full wipe. So we need to wipe cache, Dalvik cache and data. After the full wipe is complete, go to install and find the, and find the ROM file and install it. After the installation is complete, go back, hit install again and navigate to wherever you have stored the gapps file and install it as well. After you have installed the gapps file, go back and reboot your phone. So for the first boot it may take a while. And as you can see now my phone has rebooted and so that's it. So if you have any query on how to install this custom ROM on a device do let me know in the comment section below or do navigate uh, to the XDA forum link below in the description box. So that's it. Uh, do subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.